Hi guys, Mac TV here. Hope you're all good. I've got a quick video today on the untethered 4.2.1 jailbreak on all iOS 4 devices. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start right from the beginning back to basics. Um, basic things you iPhone obviously will need to be on 4.2.1. Um, if you haven't already um, jailbroken it on the tethered version, um, we'll start off with that and then once you jailbroke using the Red Snow 0.9.6 then you can jailbreak using 0.9.7 which is untethered okay so um, just to let you all know that this does not unlock your phone another thing Bluetooth is still unavailable um, hopefully when they release a new beta for this it should get resolved uh, but at the moment uh, Bluetooth is not available okay and I'm gonna get started with 0.96 of Red Snow links will be below as well so if you uh, you know haven't yet broken your 4.2.1 device yet um, I would highly highly recommend starting with this else the jailbreak won't work and you'll get yourself in a bit of a pickle okay so here we go my iPhone's um, already jailbroken it's been tested it all works fine um, so this is 0.9.6 okay so you're gonna browse for uh, the firmware so the firmware 4.2.1 you will need okay so it's found the IPSW so it's just gonna prepare itself for the jailbreak okay so I've got the iPhone 4 uh, so you will just click um, install CDA go next and obviously it says here make sure that your device is turned off and plugged in GPC, you go next and you just follow the instructions, um, you know, switching it off, getting it into DFU mode so it could do its thing okay. Now, this has happened to majority of people using 0 0.9.6. When you done, when you have jailbroken it and you've gone into your device, Cydia will appear as a white icon. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to switch it off, okay. So uh, let's just say I've rebooted it and it's got the white icon, okay? So again, going to run Red Snow again. You need to find the firmware and let it find itself, okay? So you only do this bit if you have um, jailbroken it using the tethered version of 0.9.6. And you get a white icon. You want to uncheck and install Cydia because you've already got Cydia, and you want to tick just boot tethered right now. Okay. So again, let it do its thing. It will jailbreak. Okay. So once you've done that, great. Your you know the first step is done. Okay. So we've got rid of that now, and now we want to go on to the latest untethered jailbreak 0.9.7 of Red Snow. Okay, so this is the new version. Again, like before, you need to find the firmware and let it do its thing. It's found it. Okay, so it's going to prepare for the jailbreak again. Okay, so um, you've already got CD installed on there. What this is, this isn't, you're not going to lose any of your music, your um, apps, your pictures, any data, anything like that. It's basically an update. From the previous um, Red Snow, so um, you want to untick and install Cydia and tick Jailbreak Monte, and you want to select the iPhone 4.2 Beta 3. Now, in order to check if you actually have this installed already, go into Cydia, and at the top it will say iPhone 4.2 B3, which means you can go ahead and successfully jailbreak you know having an untethered jailbreak on the new firmware so you want to tick that you want to press next make sure nothing else is ticked here 
um, and again let it do its thing okay now if you do um, do everything as I say and you get to the encrypting part where it you know extracts all the files and if it does freeze simply all you need to do is the home button keep hold on to that for 10-15 seconds and it will continue as normal okay so if you do get stuck at the encrypting bit where you know it's start to jailbreak but it freezes or for any reason it doesn't continue just hold the home button for 10-15 seconds and it will uh, continue to go forward okay guys so that's my quick hopefully easy um, guide on how to get you know into the jailbreak for the 4.2.1 uh, iOS 4 devices if you do have any questions or you know any comments or anything you want to ask me anything um, you can either follow me on Twitter links are below or post a comment and I'll get back to you guys real soon okay so hopefully this all works for you all if you if anyone does experience any problems any you know issues while doing their jailbreak or wants to do the jailbreak let me know and I'll get to you guys real soon okay so I hope you enjoyed this video find it useful don't forget to rate comment and subscribe I'll see you later.